Ethereum is touching the all-time highs or just about okay so that should soon go into price discovery we're also going to be talking about the uni token and where it has gone since i last spoke about it on the channel before we do please go ahead and subscribe also hit the notification bell so that you know when the videos come out as soon as they do and also smash the like button because that helps with the algorithm let's get into it Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and we're going to start with, let's start with Ethereum, okay, let's start with Ethereum because Ethereum is actually smashing it right now and we talked about this on the channel that I would much rather be holding my money in Ethereum at the moment rather than Bitcoin only because, you know, Bitcoin had already surpassed its previous all-time high and Ethereum, if you look at the price comparison over history, it normally follows the same kind of trajectory, except that Ethereum hasn't, it, it, it lags a bit, okay, so it's a bit behind and it hadn't broken that level yet. As you can see, we are right on the verge of breaking that level. On some exchanges, because of arbitrage, the prices have been a little bit different. But we're looking at approximately the 1,440 level. And um, I know that at least on Coinbase, it had actually touched that price already. Right about now, this is the Binance chart that we're looking at, uh, ETH USDT. And it looks like it's getting ready to break that level, guys. So it could be even within the next couple of hours before we make uh, you know, a larger move to the upside. You can see the volume going up. And of course, you know, Ethereum is the second biggest crypto in the space. Let's not forget that, okay? A lot of eyes on Ethereum at the moment. A lot of people are going to be talking about this. You'll probably see lots of videos about Ethereum going up. Of course, so this is just another one. So I don't want to get too much into it. We know what's going on. And, you know, for this reason, I believe that alt season, uh, we are on the brink of alt season. Ethereum is an altcoin, right? It is the biggest altcoin there is. It is the most popular and on-demand altcoin that there is. And, it, you know, it has a lot of utility in the, for the simple fact that you can build on top of Ethereum. And the Ethereum network, ELC20, is the most popular network. We've talked about it before. Ethereum 2.0 is on its way. So, yeah, I think there's a lot more hype to come. And we could see crazy prices. We could be getting into you know two thousand three thousand dollar ethereum who knows right it's not a price prediction but i'm happy to hold a bag of ethereum just to see exactly where we can get to but this is price discovery all of this area is price discovery okay so we we, we, we can't really you know have a, a huge idea of where price can go not unless we put a fibonacci on it okay so we go from the bottom and we put a fibonacci on and we see what the price potential might be for ethereum okay um so i would say you know um this will kind of be the next target around the 2100 dollar mark if we look on the fibonacci going from the bottom to the top and even as high as 2700 which people have had that actual price prediction of about 2700 there's a possibility possibility there uh the only way we can even have a target it going into price discovery is by using our Fibonacci uh, Fibonacci tool. Okay, so that's where that comes from. Like I said, it's not a price prediction; it's a price potential. Okay, so that's it for Ethereum, really, guys. Uh, keep keep an eye on that. Um, there could be some pullbacks along the way. You know, remember these things don't go up in straight lines. But we know that Bitcoin, once it passed its previous all-time high, at around twenty thousand dollars, it didn't take long before it got to forty. Okay, and above. Okay, so if Ethereum performs anywhere even close to what, like the, the likes of what Bitcoin performed, it could do more than you know 100% from here, way more than 100% from here. We could double that potentially. Okay, guys, so moving on to Uni. Okay, I just wanted to quickly touch on the Uni token because the last time I did a video about Uni, we were down down here somewhere okay we were down here somewhere i'm not going to pull the video back up all right but you can go and check that out but um 
I did say that we we looked like we were going to break this, and in fact, I think we're around the six dollar mark. Let's 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 not get it confused. We were around the six dollar mark uh, when I did that video, and why I expected was for us to break this kind of level. It didn't happen straight away, as you can see here. Um, but I do remember that it was around six dollars. Okay, so I'm going to go from here. But since then, we have had that move to the upside. Obviously, I've got my line drawn down here. You can see that that clearly is a support and resistance level. Okay, we got the breakout. We got a retest over here, and we got that super bounce to the upside. Okay, if you would have got in on the bottom of this wick, you would have made approximately 125%. That's crazy gains. Now, Uni Token is definitely one that we've been looking at for a while, and definitely one that a lot of people have had eyes on since its inception. A lot of people got an airdrop on it. A lot of people got free money. I was actually one of the people that got that as well. Um, unfortunately for me, I only had one uh, uh, MetaMask account at the time, so I only got one airdrop. So I know other people that had several, other people that had several uh, uh, wallets, and they actually got airdrops on each of those 400 uni tokens. So that's crazy, right? I believe I sold that for around two to three thousand dollars, if I remember correctly. So that was definitely a nice bit of free money that you could use to invest elsewhere. Okay, I believe when they did that at the time, it was a very smart marketing move because uni token straight out the gate was the most held uh, cryptocurrency um, at all. Right, they had the most holders for the simple fact a lot of users on, on Uniswap, they all got airdrops immediately out the gate. They had the most holders. Not only that, but they had a stealth launch. They launched on Coinbase, Binance, Qcoin, like every big exchange you can think of, right? All on the same day, right? So they definitely were clever in doing that. And, you know, um, they solidified themselves. Obviously, you know, we know that Uniswap is the biggest decentralized exchange uh, there is at the moment anyway. Uh, there's there are a lot of competitors but i don't expect them to catch up with uniswap anytime soon even despite the fact that the ethereum network fees are high i don't expect pancake swap or any other exchange like sushi swap to really overtake uniswap it, at least not anytime in the near future okay especially with ethereum 2.0 on the verge of coming to cryptocurrency enthusiasts worldwide okay so yeah, that's about it for now, guys. Keep your eye on Unitoken and Ethereum. Of course, you know, there's going to be uh, people that won't want to get out of Ethereum at the moment, especially with gas fees going up, um, even with, you know, the congested network at the moment. A lot of people are going to be holding on to their Ethereum, the same as people will hold on to their Bitcoin. You've got Bitcoin maximalists, you've got Ethereum ma maximalists, okay? So the Ethereum maximalists are going to be, you know, having a nice the brilliant whale of a time at the moment uh, let's just see where this can go all right guys more updates to come in order to get those you need to smash the like button and subscribe guys i can't stress enough please help me out and do that helps for the algorithm all right so that is about it for now i will see you guys in the next video